Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to talk to Peter, a ranking owner, a ranking company, during the last, company, last uh, couple of years, has been a sponsor of Iranian teams. So now we're going to introduce Peter. Peter, can you introduce yourself to us? Uh, yes. Hello, everybody. I'm Peter. So I want to say salam yeah, to Iranian people. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy to receive this interview. So, what is the main reason behind ranking strategy to sponsor Iranian teams or the cycling? What is the main reason behind this? I think uh, the main reason is a bit like this sports. Yeah. Uh, and we find that uh, actually we can do something for this sports. Uh, yeah. uh, ranking is a, a, a hair make company. Um, yeah, so we involved in uh, cycling uh, helmets uh, already over 10 years. Yeah. Uh, from the beginning, we think uh, we can make the, the things better. Yeah, we find that uh, lots of uh, uh, the, the people, uh, they don't have uh, helmets. They don't know how to wear helmets. They don't know they need helmets. And even the um, uh, professional rider, yeah, I think they need a better helmet. Yeah, so that's why Rinkin involved in cycling sports, involved in uh, helmet making, design, yeah, so long, yeah. In addition to teams, professional teams, I can see you sponsor organizer, race organizers for cycling, international cycling yes. also. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, uh, I think uh, in the past, we have uh, over 10 events, including uh, uh, tour of Iran, tour of Taiwan, uh, tour of China, uh, even the uh, walk tour, uh, tour of Beijing, mm -hmm. and uh, tour of Chongming Island, like that. Yeah, so we like this sport, so we will build up a very widely friendship uh, with team, with the organizer. Yeah, so we try to do our best yeah, to involve more and involve widely yeah, with these sports. Of course you do. Uh, K uh, Tour of Beijing is alive right uh, now? Tour of Beijing is not alive. It is not alive. Uh, for some reason, uh, they, the, city, the city hall, they quit. Uh, I think already two years. Okay. Is there any uh, World Tour teams uh, to uh, you sponsor them? At the world class? Yes, yeah. In the past, we have uh, sponsored uh, H2R, H2R team. Yeah. But now, uh, we are, our, our thinking is already changed. We think uh, uh, we want to use the similar budget to support the more, more teams. Because we find a uh, continental team compared to the Portugal team. Uh, their financial and their resources are limited. Yeah, so now we we have uh, over 40, 40, 40 teams uh, global. Yeah, uh, have uh, cooperation and uh, uh, sponsorship. So we, our thinking is uh, we want to build up the the uh, local uh, the local champion, and people can close. 40 teams is too much. Uh, it, it seems actually a part of your company is working for the teams. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you, may, you may say like that, uh, but actually we also get a lot, know a lot from the, the team. Because of uh, the user, the uh, rider and the team, they use our products every day. So I may say we are very proud. Uh, we got the benefit from the team riders. Yeah. So in the past five years, uh, we got the three design awards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I may say it's of a, uh, I, we appreciate this cooperation uh, and this, this um, sponsorship. Yeah. So mo the very important technique, feedback from the, the riders and the, the functions from the riders. That's why we make the the uh, very good uh, design and the good products. So in the past five years, we, we got a three. Three. Okay, back to the race. We're going to start a stage five at yes. Tour of Thailand yes. today. 
Uh, it is 232 kilometers, very tough day, and at the it's su such a climatic condition. Riders yeah. must be, you know, so strong to finish yeah. the race. Yeah. So I can see you uh, came with Malaysian national team. Yes. So can you give us your opinions about the race, about the quality of the race and riders? Yeah, I think uh, two of Thailand. Uh, uh, it's a good race, uh, so I think uh, uh, they arrange everything. Uh, it's, it's quite good, um, and um, it is not a very popular range. Something like a two thirty uh, kilometers a day. Uh, this kind of race, but I think uh, for Iranian people, this is not uh, unusual. Huh? When I visit the uh, tour of Iran, also there is an uh, endurance. I think. <laughs> Cycling is a sport for challenge. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I I expect today, expect today. Uh, I think most of the riders can finish no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of uh, yeah. Once they see the the race arrangement, everybody is ready to go for the race. And I think the most of them they already make a plan. To win this stage, yes. Yeah, this is uh, full of challenge. Always brave and uh, always break your limit. This is cycling. Thank you. We're 30 seconds to go. Uh, last question. You're next month going to uh, travel Iran to participate at Tour of Iran. Do you have any recommendation? Any something special to say about that race? Uh, yes. I can. Uh, I like uh, Tour of Iran. It's very unique, very special. It's of uh, the attitude. I think it's not a high, higher than uh, two of uh, Kinh Hai Lake. That's, yeah, that's incredible. But I think the tour in Iran is a very typical uh, UCI Asia tour. And it, it, can, it is one of the best the race because of uh, the, the people are very yeah, full of patience on cycling and uh, very good organization. Yeah, and I expect um, uh, after Iran has a uh, uh, better international relationship with the, uh, uh, with, with, with the, the others. So I expect that this year's tour of Iran has more uh, variable teams that join the race. And they will see how great is the race and how great are Iranian riders. Of course. Peter? Thank you very much for joining us and giving your time for us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for this interview. Uh, I'd like to say, okay, see you in Iraq. See you. See you.